OpenIDO is a global community working together to design solutions for the world's biggest challenges. In this video, we step through the experience for players who sign up to play. We want your feedback. This bridge builder challenge is how might we address urgent global challenges at the intersections of peace, prosperity, and planet in radically new ways. Our idea is the Compassion Games, a community engagement experience that invites people around the world to challenge one another, to inspire and carry out acts of compassion that better our lives, our communities, and all life on Earth. Our ideal user is Sarah, a 35-year-old teacher, motivated and engaged in her community. She teaches at a school with a high concentration of gang activity. The students have difficult hardships and showing compassion can be risky and perceived as a weakness. In step one, there's the call to play. Sarah may hear it from a family member, a friend, a co-worker, student, congregant, or on a social or mainstream media. In this case, while listening to her favorite radio podcast, they mention the Compassion Games, a challenge issued to her city from a mayor in another city. She decides to find out what this is about. Here's an example of a call to play from Mayor of Louisville last year. I'm Greg Fisher, Mayor of Louisville, Kentucky, a city that marries a competitive nature, think NCAA basketball and Muhammad Ali, with a spirit of compassion. We've been named an international model city of compassion four years in a row, and we're not planning to give up that title anytime soon. But if you think your community can compete, then sign up for the Global Unity Games tomorrow together, and let's see who has the edge on kindness. In step two, Sarah visits our site and sees how the Compassion Games can fit. She accesses resources to help her plan the school's participation. She introduces the idea at her school and the student government forms a committee to bring the games to the school and organize teams. The teams develop specific service projects and acts of compassion to do during the games. Step three is play your hearts out. The day of the service projects come and the students in the school play, capturing photos, counting the number of volunteers, the hours of service, people served, and monies raised. In addition, each day of the games, agents of compassion receive daily missions to inspire their participation. Step four is report and reflect on the impact. Sarah visits the compassion report map. She reads reports from players all over the world. She submits reports for the teams at the school about the student service projects and acts of kindness. The numbers for the players at the schools appear on the scoreboard map. Final step is to share and celebrate the outcomes. Sarah and the players share with others what they did during the games, including the reports on the map. They gather to celebrate the outcomes and the impact they made and agree to participate in the games again and to double the number of volunteers next time. How can we improve this flow? What can we do to make the games easier to participate in? This Open IDO challenge gives us a chance to rethink and reimagine how we can scale the Compassion Games to reach the millions of people around the world who are taking on the urgent global challenges of our time by bringing compassionate action to life. Help us build the bridges that connect peace, prosperity, and all life on our planet. Let's play together so everyone wins. Game on. Please visit us on OpenIDO and let us know what you think. The link is below.